Hey everyone, what's happening? It's Adam and today's video I'm going to be answering a question somebody had asking my opinion on the Jabra Evolve 65, not the Evolve 2 65, the OG 65 because they're on a bit of a budget and they see this headset go on sale and I see it go on sale for like 125, 150 sometimes. So I thought I'd do something fun and really see if this is a good enough headset compared to something like the JLab Go work headset because this is $50 retail, this is $180 retail. And what really inspired it is because I haven't done a versus on this YouTube channel yet, but because you can use them both wired or Bluetooth, so I wanna see if there is a major difference in that besides just the microphone quality altogether. Of course, I'll go over sound quality, battery life, and everything else, but how you use it wired is micro USB to USB-A with the Jabra Evolve 65, and then a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack cable to use for this, even though you can charge it USB-C, to use this wire directly to your computer or even your phone. So let's get straight into the microphone test. It's gonna be in a real coffee shop, number one, and then in a quiet office, and then I'll also do a blender test just to really put it to the test and see how these work. So let's get straight into it. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching ahead of time. Test test. This is the Java Evolve 65. Uh, in that same ambient noise so the decibels are like 80 to 90 so i'll be quiet to see if any of that noise i'm just talking at a normal volume see if any of that noise comes in all right and then i'll compare it with the jlab go work okay mic test in the same uh coffee shop environment um i noticed that with that side tone that the jlab go work has i can hear myself a lot better so test one two three i'll be quiet for a second Okay, and we'll see how that sounds compared to the Evolve 65. All right, test one, two, three, the JLab Go work connected via Bluetooth in a quiet office. Test one, two, three. This microphone test is the Jabra Evolve 65 in a quiet office connected via Bluetooth with the USB Bluetooth dongle. All right, now the JLab Go work in a quiet office connected via the 3.5 headphone jack. And it is 3.5 millimeter to USB-C when you do connect it wired. All right, now we're doing a wired microphone test of the Jabra Evolve 65 in a quiet office. Now with that microphone test, I think it's pretty safe to say that the Evolve 65 does better, maybe even much better, especially in that lot of an environment. But this is no slouch either. It still hangs in there and is good enough if you really are on a budget and only have 50 bucks and this is what you got. So it's not a terrible headset, it's just this does better. Now, when it comes to connectivity, they both have dual connectivity. You can connect to this via Bluetooth strictly with no dongle or anything to a computer or to your phone, which is what most people will probably do. And same with this, but you need the USB-A dongle to get the best features of connecting this to your computer. So they both have dual connectivity, but you're only gonna get the full benefits of using this if you actually use the software and use the USB-A dongle. Now with battery life, definitely goes to the JLab Go Work headset. 45 plus hours, this is 14 hours. So this isn't that bad, but I mean, come on, 45 plus hours, that's crazy for a $50 headset. Now, as far as sound quality goes, with the difference in those drivers, it for sure goes to the JLab Go Work even with sound. And the best way I can put it in my experience is when I was in that coffee shop, I had the volume at about 50, 60, and I was able to hear people more than fine. It was plenty loud. And especially with music, where I'm like, okay, this is a headset I can really entertain with. It gets some entertainment value out of it with music, where bass is there, mids are there, highs are there. It's not the best in clarity. You're not gonna get Sony level, Bose level music out of this, but it's enough where you're like, for 50 bucks, it's really hard to complain about the music quality. Where for 180 with this one, there's no bass, you know, the mid, it's very mid heavy and there's no detail or clarity. It's really flat sounding actually. So for me, I'm pretty disappointed this one didn't do well in that department. Even I never really noticed how bad it was until I did compare it to this because this has been such a good headset for phone calls because I was so impressed with the mic. But yeah, sound quality for sure goes to the JLab Go work.
But as far as build quality, just to throw that in too in design, I for sure like the Evolve 65 much better. It looks more professional, it has a meaner tone to it. You feel so savvy with this. This just seems like a little, you know, goofy gaming headset, and I'm not trying to be, you know, mean about the headset design, but that's just how it feels. All right, last but not least, let's get into comfortability and design between these two. Now, with the JLab Go Work, it's much more comfortable in my opinion. It's, it fits very well, it feels very snug on your head, it offers really good passive noise isolation, and I feel like the only issue with this headset is it definitely feels cheaper in build quality. And as far as the look goes, it's definitely goofier looking. And you'll see the difference when I put the Evolve 65 headset on. When I put this one on, the passive noise isolation is definitely not as good. I mean, I noticed I had to talk, I felt like I had to talk a little bit louder when I put this one on. When I put this one on, maybe that has to do with the sound difference too in a loud environment but it feels a little uneven, but it looks a lot better. So that's what's kind of frustrating. If you're on a phone call with this and you wanted to make a serious business impression, well, I'm just being real here. This one is gonna look better. The controls feel better, the volume up, volume down, etc. It doesn't feel as cheap as the JLab Go Work, but I think that's just pretty obvious given that yeah. this is a more expensive headset. So comfortability wins with the JLab Go Work, professional look and design goes to the Evolve 65. Now that may have been a bad way to, of putting it, that may have been a good way, but hey, just in my experience, that's how I feel between the two. Okay, so hopefully I'm not missing anything. I think that's it. But best way I can put it is if you wanna be heard for real and for sure, you're gonna go with the Evolve 65. <laughs> the way I said that. But you're gonna go with this headset if you really wanna block out as much noise as possible especially if you're working in a loud office or you're mobile and you wanna work out of coffee shops and you take a call every now and then, you're gonna make a greater impression with the Evolve 65. But if you work from home in a quiet office all the time and you're like, hey, I just wanna block out maybe the dryer, maybe the kids playing, uh, maybe I got roommates and they make noise every now and then in the other room or they're watching TV and you wanna block that stuff out, well, that's what this is for. I think the value goes to this headset much more for 50 bucks. If I'm working from home and I just need to block out that kind of noise, I'd go with this. But for sure, if I'm trying to make the best impression and I'm like, yeah, I wanna really make sure my voice is heard, then that's when you go to the Evolve 65. So I think this headset answering that original question is still worth it, especially if you can get it at a discount. Of course, you know, never pay retail if you have a choice not to. So anyhow, I really hope this comparison was fun. Let me know if you are a subscriber, if you want to see more comparisons and like versus of products. I don't know why I don't do that often, but if you are new to this channel, please like and subscribe if you did find value out of this. I want to try to do more of this and let me know your thoughts in the comments. You know, what do you really think about the difference and which one you may get? So anyhow, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you on the next one.